I'm here at the Bắc Mỹ Anh Market, a local market. And now let's see Chef Oliver go to this market and buy ingredients and also do the bargain with the Vietnamese traders. Tuna? No, cá khế. Cá khế. Cá khế is uh, like uh, I yeah, yeah, say I sea green, yeah, kind yeah. of sea green. Yeah. However, this one is very good for like uh, carpaccio or sashimi. Uh, ceviche is very good. I'm not at going to the local market, so I don't even know the name of I this do. cafe. <laughs> you are professional. <laughs> the blue one, like this. The blue one yeah. is the good one, it's right? The best one. Uh, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, the most expensive you will find. However. The meat is yeah. like milky, creamy, yeah. and then we take all the shen, then we make the sauce from the shen, ah. and we put it into the siphon to have a kind of foam, yeah. so it's very nice. Ah. But this one, you don't find all the year. Mm. It's now you have the good season, and if you want big quantity, you must go to the other side of the yeah, yeah, yeah. You know Dongda? Yes. There is a big seafood market there. Then the crab side will be bigger than this? Bigger and cheaper. Ah, uh, bigger and cheaper. Around 20 to 30,000 one kilo cheaper. But you need to drive for 25 minutes. Yeah. So I come here. But you know Da Nang so well. Why to buy the Six good things? Six years already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How many crabs do you want to buy? Kilo. Một ký rưỡi. One kilo and a half. Anh có biết trả giá không chị? À, có trả giá, trả giá bớt giá đồ nói tiếng Việt rành lắm. Uh, okay. yeah. <cười> we often use the frog leg in France. It's very common. Yeah. The problem we have in France is most of the time we have frozen. Mm. It's not good. Mm. Here, this morning still alive, so still super fresh. Mm. You can see the muscle is still very good. So that's the spirit of uh, the market here. Mm. Everything is so fresh. Mm. However. The consumption of the Vietnamese and in general the market is made on the morning or farm on the morning, mm. eat for the lunch yeah. or eat for the dinner and that's yeah. it. The young generation they prefer to go to the Vinmart yeah. because they have this uh, uh, the, 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 the feeling of it's cleaner. Yeah, yeah. However, if you come here early morning, you really have the fresh things. Yeah, yeah. The problem is you need to wake up. Uh, if you don't come here before eight, there is no more yeah. good product. You will have product, but not as fresh as what we can get right now. Good advisor. <laughs> Now it's the vegetable area. Yeah, you're I'll gonna pick. We're gonna see Chin Stan. I buy often from her. Okay. And after we're gonna pick if we find some beautiful. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Okay. Let's move to yeah. her. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna pass by here. Ah, okay. Okay. Why? Why? Why is she? This? Yeah. We take the, the yeah baby broccoli and uh, baby zucchini. They are she always have for us. Ah. the color mm. and it has to be firm. What do you think about the size? It's smaller than in France, right? France. In France it's way bigger. Yeah. However, this one tastes here. Mm. So nothing to say about that. And most of the things she will source for us. Yeah. Uh, not all what she has, but what she takes for us, it's coming either from Dalat, mm. either from Mangden, mm -hmm. or either from some small farm yeah. around. Yeah, yeah. So they are always tasty. Yeah, tasty. The crime you have in this market is some vegetables coming from China. Yeah. Even her, she have some time. So you need to, you need to tell her what you want. Yeah, yeah. And she will follow. Like the origin of the food, right? The exactly. origin of the. Oh, okay. Like baby carrot, like this, this from uh. Vietnam. A little bit dusty. Yeah. You take the dust one, you are sure it's gonna come from Vietnam. Uh, but normally I, I saw a yeah, lot of people you, buy this. Yeah, because, because it's you clean. go to the supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> but if you stay here and if you spend time here, you will understand that yeah. the real products in Vietnam are not the most colorful and the most 
clean. Yeah, However, yeah. the taste here are the one a little bit hidden, uh, the one a little bit somewhere else. So this one, it's my choice. Yeah. This one is what people will get in general. Yeah. À, không à. biết là thường bạn đến đây bằng lựa những cái loại nguyên liệu như thế nào? Có lựa nguyên liệu đồ đẹp 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 kiểu nhất của số 1 á. À, ừ. Bạn biết cách trả giá không? Đấy, bạn hả? Bạn mua bạn mua là phải 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 đóng giá bạn chứ còn trả là bạn đẹp và đóng giá cho bạn thôi. À, cái này là hai lạng. Cái này là hai lạng mới là chung chung luôn đấy. Chung chung chung. Dạ ok. Cảm ơn chị. Cảm ơn. Bye bye. Con cảm ơn nhé. A little bit further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's actually there that we have the how to call the fresh uh, clams. Yeah. The fresh uh, all the shellfish. Why don't you buy this item outside? I think it's more diverse than the area. Okay, obviously. However, here they don't know me, oh. so they will ask me a price always up and down. It's about the relationship be exactly. between you and the traders, right? Yes, I do. See the way she does? Yeah. So she checked all one by one to make sure they are not empty, uh. so they don't uh, scam. Uh, yeah, yeah, that yeah. means they don't fool you uh. that it's not the good product. But it, why don't you chew it for yourself? Because I know her ah, for three years. It's about the chest, right? Yes, ah. I came here. Yeah. I checked one time, two times. Ah. Always perfect, always the best price. Yeah. Sometimes 5,000 different from here to the other. Yeah. But for me, always the same. Ah. Uh, Sometimes... 70 is the price, right? No, she knows, she knows. Yeah. <laughs> Total. Just the sauce, but the dish is not meant. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah, going in. Oh, come on. <laughs> Let's see what we got now. A lot of things. So that's more or less what we're gonna have as a special for tonight. Okay, now let's see how you handle with these uh, sure. ingredients this at the restaurant. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I spend every day with my team, show them how to do better, how to do better, non-stop, non-stop. And also the most important is develop the spirit of make a restaurant in Da Nang is possible. There is audience, there is people looking after something different, something new, but never forget that this, it's belong to your team. So you must have a strong team next to you to make it happen. So my future in Nanang is continue running restaurant, more project on the way, and keep continue focus on building my team to get stronger and more uh, efficient in the future. But uh, recently I uh, came back from France when we landed in uh, in Danang. I feel more at home than when I landed in Paris. Uh, Danang obviously it looks more. Uh, my home at the moment, as long as I'm staying here, even during the pandemic, I stay here non-stop. So it's obviously where I call home at the moment.